Picture this. You walk out the door and you feel the breeze. The temperature is a bit warmer than the United Kingdom, but a bit cooler than Spain. And to top it off, you walk out and you just smell a fresh baguette coming out of the oven. Does any of y'all know where y'all could be? If you don't, the answer is France. Today I'll share with you the background, culture, and unique communication behaviors of France. I've always been interested in visiting France, and due to that, I have researched this country thoroughly. I'll begin by telling you about the background of France. Then I will talk to you about the culture of France, and lastly I will talk to you about the unique communication behaviors in France. Let me begin with the background of France. France has its own unique background. The shape of France and the climates are only, are only a small list of its uniqueness factors. France is hexagonal in shape. According to the 2015 Cultural Grams Online World Editions entry on France, in the section Land and Climate, since France is shaped like a hexagon, it is referred to as Le Hexagon. France's climate varies by its region. The southern climate is Mediterranean. The northern and western climate is temperate and wet. In the central, east, and upland areas have a continental climate. France has also had and have had some very important events happen there. First being the French Revolution and Napoleon. By the late 1600s, France controlled Europe. However, by 1789, because of royal defeats, it started the French Revolution and the Reign of Terror. Despite the brutal uprisings, the French Revolution marks a milestone in world history because it started a movement in democratic government. Secondly, France today is one of the most modern countries in the world and is a leader among the European nations. France plays an influential global role as a permanent member of the United Security Council, NATO, the G8, the G20, and the European Union. Now that I've told you about the background of France, let me move on to the culture. France's culture is one of a kind. French is the dominant language among the 66 million residents. But there's a number of variants based on the region of where you live or grew up. French is the second most widely learned foreign language in the world. It is also one of the five Romance languages. France also has some of the best food. Food and wine are central to life at social economic levels, at all social economic levels, and socializing is done around lengthy dinners. One classic French dish includes a boeuf bourgeon, a dish made of beef braised in red wine. Clothing is another important aspect of France's culture. Paris is known for its high-end fabrication areas, which, which include Dior, Hermes, and Louis Vuitton. Many French people dress in a sophisticated, professional, and fashionable style, but they try not to be too fussy or be too vibrant. Typical outfits include nice dresses, long pants, long coats, scarves, and berets. Now that I've told you about the culture of France, let me move on to tell you the unique communication behaviors. Communication behaviors in France are different than a lot of countries. One difference is that different greetings are in order for different people. One example is that when greeting someone, it may be customary to give them a handshake, but not mandatory. However, in France, a handshake is normally light, gentle, and usually only consists of one shake. Another example would be kisses. Women customarily are kissed on both sides of the cheek by both men and women, whereas men only kiss the cheeks of either family or very close relatives. Another difference in communication in France is their gestures. It is improper to speak with one hand with one's hand in someone's in your pocket or by chewing gum. <clears throat> also, according to the 2015 Cultural Grams online World Edition entries on France, in the section Gestures, the OK sign used in the United States means zero to older generations in France.
The gesture for OK is just a simple thumbs up. Slapping the open palm over a closed fist is considered vulgar. Since I have told you about the culture, background, and the unique communication behaviors in France, let me conclude. First, I told you about how the background, the background of France. Secondly, I told you about the culture. And finally, I told you about the unique communication behaviors. France is a very unique country that I have decided to go visit someday. And after hearing me speak, I hope you want to go visit there too. I hope that it's your dream. I hope that your dream becomes a reality.